Tuesday's Tone starts in 30 seconds with me, Kim, aka Fitness Snob. But remember, being a fitness snob is not about you judging anybody or you being judged. It is all about you being unapologetic about your fitness preferences. Good morning. Thank you for joining me on a Thursday for Tony. So we're taking Tuesday Tone into a Thursday. I guess at some point I should change the name of it. So bear with me while I tie my shoes. If you have not done so already, grab a towel, hand towel, dish towel. Something larger than a face towel, but something smaller than a body towel. We're going to um, do combo moves today, and we really want to make sure that we focus on form, so we'll continue to do some, um, some more of the popular moves that are really good for um, toning body. And then as we progress over time, this is great body. We will add some more complicated moves. But in the meantime, we're going to focus on lunges and um, curls. And, yeah. Let's keep going into this. Um, kick your foot to the back of your butt. Why could not think of it? Great vibe. <laughs> For those who have not participated before, I'm Kim, aka Fitness Knob. Now let's just stay here, side to side. We're warming up those quads, glutes in the back, kicking our legs. Kicking our booties. It's going to be an amazing Thursday. <laughs> I feel a little off right now, but it's going to be good. Now I want us to bring those knees in front. How high up can you get them? You can't go that far, it's fine. Just trying to get that lower body stretched out. Now let's go back into that grapevine with a booty kick. Swing those arms for me so we can warm up those arms, the upper body. Okay, we're going into our first set. Grab your towel, pull it apart as far as you can. We're going into those good mornings, feet are hip width apart, we're pushing our booty out, back is coming parallel to the floor, we're going to roll while we're down here, we're going to pull those arms back to the navel, we're going to bring it back down, we're going to stand up, okay? See if we can get 20 of these in. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we're going to go into um, static lunges. So we're going to have our right leg back, left leg forward. We're going to go down, L7, come up. And then as we are coming up, we want to roll, we want to curl up and then come down, sorry, curl down as we are up and then as we go down, we curl up. That makes sense?
So when you're coming down, your towel should be tapping the, your leg that is um, fairly straight. Knee can still be a little bit. Let's switch those legs. Right foot comes in front, left leg goes back. Same idea. You should be pulling that towel apart. Like this old, it should be ready to rip. That's where you're feeling the resistance for this curl to actually work for you. Bring those legs back together, hands back over the towel, and we are back to those good mornings. One. Two, three, four, five, six, keep it controlled, seven, don't overextend when you come to the top, which is this, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 13, 14, 15. Let's take that right leg back again. This time, grab those towels. We're going to go behind our heads. So we're going to do a pull down as we come down and push it up as we come up. We're squeezing those shoulder blades in the back. Your left knee should not be coming past your toe. If it is, you need to adjust. Bring those legs together. Left leg back, same move. Arms are coming down as you're coming down. Continue to pull behind the back. Now we're coming, um, we're getting ready for a cardio burst. Got about 20 seconds. This cardio burst, we are going to do um, some squats. So I just want you to push your booty back, squat down, keep your chest up. You'll be looking straight ahead of me. You can take your time. Do them, get in as many as you can. If anybody wants to take it up to another level, you can do a jump squat. So you're jumping up, squatting into it. Remember, booty is back, like you're sitting in a chair. This is a core fitness move, you guys. So you really want to make sure you get this right. People are always going to have you doing squats. Often they will be weighted, having good form, will keep you from hurting yourself. All right, good job, shake that out. We are going to repeat this. Hmm. 
Grab your towel. We should be able to get in 15. Good morning. Remember, booty back. Shave it down your legs. Come up. Row. One. Two. Three. Pull that towel apart. Four. Five. There shouldn't be any slack in it. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Perfect timing. Take that right leg back, and we're back into those curls. Down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20. Let's make sure we get 20 on the opposite side. Left foot back. Remember, we're doing the L7 move. The curl, that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is too much for anybody. You can always slow down. We'll try to get the same amount on the on each side. 18, 19, 20. One more for good luck. I'm not sure I counted right. I tried to count on my fingers while we we're talking. All right. We are back to that good morning. Down, booty back, roll, down. Up. One, two, three, four, five. Make sure you're pulling that towel. I gotta go a little faster. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, come on, just two more, 14, 15, right leg back, this time we pull the towel down over our head, Guys, I just counted 20. Switch to the opposite foot. Same thing, we're pulling behind our head. Make sure that towel is pulled apart. Make sure you count your own. Try to keep them even on each side. job. Now we're moving into about a 20 second cool down or cool down, 20 second break, right? Before we do our cardio burst. Grab water if you need to. We're back to that little squats or jump squats, your call. If you're just joining me, I'm Kim, aka 
fitness snob. We are like two thirds of the way there. So if you're just joining, please, wait this over, take it over. We're done in like another, what, 12 minutes? And you can do it from the beginning. And yes, fitness snob, but it is not about judgment. It is about knowing your fitness preferences and doing what you love because that's what creates a routine that keeps you, hopefully, that keeps you consistent and motivated. I totally know the things that I love. You want to know? Follow me at Original Fitness Snob on Instagram. You can also find me, Fitness Snob Society, on Instagram and um, Facebook. Cool. Now we're moving into upper body. If you have a mat or you want to lay something down on the floor, please do grab it. We are doing, um, not that we didn't already do some upper body, but we're going to do some additional upper body. Um, And some of it actually will encompass full body. So, you know, I love a good walkout. I think this is a full body workout. So you're gonna come down, hands to the mat. You walk yourself out. If you need to, you can come to your knees. But when we get down here, we're gonna push up. And let's keep our elbows into our side so we can work on those triceps because we haven't done too many tricep exercises. Then we're gonna walk ourselves back and up. So back down, hands to our side, a tricep push up, and back up. Just keep it going. If you need to, remember when you get here, you can come to your knees, tricep push up, and up. You want your hands to be about chest level. So they should be about parallel to your chest when you're on the ground. Remember elbows back so we can work into those triceps. Give me one more, and then let's stay at the stay on the ground when we get down here. When you come up off that push-up, let's do a plank. This is too much for anybody. You can come off of your toes. Well, first you can spread your feet. That gives you a little bit more balance. You can come to your knees. You can come to your elbows if you're. On your forearm, you might want to still try to be at your leg. But up to you. If you are brand new, this may be the most comfortable thing. And you can continue to build up, which will mean building up is bringing it to your leg, bringing it to your hands, bring it in. Okay, let's come to our knees, flip over on our backs. Let's get some additional core in. And I say additional, because when you're working out, you always should be engaging your core. We're just going to make uh, regular crunches. Eyes up to the ceiling. You are pulling from your abs as you crunch them in. This is not a shoulder or back exercise, so you should not be pulling on the back. Your hands are just resting in your head. Now we're going to bring our toes up. Just do toe touches. Same idea. Your head though is just relaxing. Your eyes are to the ceiling. What is bringing my arms in are my abs. Like I'm not moving my arms around to get there or pulling up hard on my back. It is just 
my abs that are getting me to touch my toes. Ah. Now let's bring those feet down, toes down, heels up. Pinkies, think about going all the way down the side of your shoe so we can engage those obliques. Your upper back, shoulders are off of the mat, floor, towel, whatever you're using. Good job. Now sit up for a second. We've got about 20 seconds before we move into our last cardio burst of the day. Right? These go super fast. So really, why not spend 30 minutes moving your body before you run into work, sit at a computer, or whatever. But you know what we're doing. We are doing bicycles. So we are back on the ground, legs fully extended, elbows to knees. If that's too much for anybody, you can sit up and tap your feet on the ground. If you want something more, um, want something more difficult, you can extend your leg from here. I am going back to original bicycles. 30 more seconds, you guys. You ladies of people. As the quiz said, you guys, where do we even get that from? Just a few more. And we are done. Oh, good job. Okay, let's huh, put our feet to the ground. Let's bring this right leg up, leaving our left foot um, bent, but on the ground. You should feel a stretch in your glutes. You can Take that same right arm, right leg, pull over a little to the side. So even more of a stretch in the glute area. Don't do anything that doesn't feel comfortable. Let's cross that ankle over that left knee. To figure four. Pull in. You push off of it a little bit. I like to push off a little bit. It gives me a deeper stretch. Oh, this feels so good. I clearly, clearly, clearly need to stretch more. You guys, I'm gonna, you ladies, you people, us people, I'm gonna get us a yoga class going. Somebody's gotta stretch our bodies. Oh, and then let's go to the opposite leg. Right foot down. But the leg is bent, the knee is bent. You're pulling that left leg gently behind the calf. Oh, you're taking it out with the same with your left hand if that's comfortable for you. If not, don't do it. Bring it back in. Knee over right, uh, ankle over right knee into a Figure four. Oh. Nice. Okay, let's 
rock ourselves gently back and forth. Get some of that lower back. Relax and into it and then up all the way. However you can without hurting yourself. Left arm goes across your body. You gently pull with your right hand. Take that same left arm behind our back. Your palm touching your back if possible. Your right hand pulling gently on that left elbow. And let's swap it out. Again, for those of you who um, started with us late, I am Kim, aka Fitness Snob. You can find me, Original Fitness Snob, on Instagram or Fitness Snob Society, Instagram or Facebook. Um, I am really just here to get you to move. There is no judgment, despite the name. I know some people think the name feels critical, but it really is about being snobbish about your own personal health and fitness. Let's bring that hand to the back. And um, not being apologetic for it. Right? People think you should do what they do because they do a spin class or because they do boxing. Or, no, you should do what you love to do and what keeps you going and what keeps you motivated. So there is that. And that is what Fitness Knob is about. So I am here every Tuesday and Thursday, 8 a.m., Um, If you have any questions, comments, you can hit me up on any of these places. Leave a comment right here in the blackdoctor.org Facebook messages right under this video. You can, again, reach me, Fitness Snob Society, Facebook or Instagram. Original Fitness Snob is my personal um, account, and there you'll see all the stuff that I love. So thanks again for joining me. Have a fabulous Thursday and an incredible weekend.